Jadro on here. What's going on, guys? So we got the JJRC Phantom. Um, that's not really what it's called, but it does have a nice two-axis gimbal that is brushless. Uh, we're going to check out the camera. We're going to check out the camera. I'm very impressed on how quickly it locks on the satellites. Next to my house, uh, we are locked on a 13 almost immediately. So uh, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. I don't know if I'm going to include my hat cam during this entire video or if we're just going to strictly look at that. But uh, what we are going to do is get down on it. Let's get down on it. And I'm going to watch that little red light because it's now just flashing nice and steady. When I press this record button, it should flash a little bit more rapid as it is doing. So we're going to go down and out or ins. All right, guys. So this video is going to be strictly via the camera. We're not going to do the hat cam thing. That was just in the start. Stick with me. What we are seeing here is the the camera having a hard time focusing. Right? It's it's looking at all this green. It's trying to gather the detail and whatnot. Stay with me. I promise you, it gets better. But there is also some other contrast that you definitely need to see. That you definitely want to see. And that way, I can sum up this camera. I'm going to tell you right now, this camera is not a hundred percent could be 100%. I'm going to explain to you how it could be 100%, but it's not 100% and do not chalk this um, focusing in and out uh, up to, oh man, I'm definitely not getting it because I don't need that. That oddly enough is just literally looking at this, uh, looking at this greenery. We're going to go ahead and get away from the greenery. We're going to travel up further uh, towards where the Impala is. We are going to also raise up in altitude and show you the characteristics of this gimbal. As you can see, now that we're facing light, we get a darker image. Uh, so we're facing those trees, which the lights actually was shining down on but the lens itself wasn't facing the light if you could like off to the right is where the sun is um stay with me it's gonna get better it's gonna get better but it's also gonna get worse um the drone itself i'm gonna say right now the drone itself gets a nice flight time the drone itself flies really nice then as you can see we turn our back to the light it gets brighter um the drone itself uh gets nice control range now look all right we're done focusing i don't think it liked the green well, we focused it a little bit again. Now we should be about done. Um, it didn't like the green for some reason. Now, I am tilting the camera down via the controller. It's definitely a nice feature. Um, if we notice something, if we're going to be brutally honest about this, and that's what J-Drone does. J-Drone's brutally honest about everything that I fly. No matter if it was given to me, this was given to me, or if I purchased it. Um, we're getting a little bit of jitter which makes absolutely no sense it makes no sense why does it make no sense this video quality is going to look really good but again we are dealing with a little bit of jitter um and the only thing that i could key up the jitter to because again jitter 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 as you can see is it's only shooting in 20 frames per second now we can pull pictures from this all day bam snapshot dope picture um we can pull pictures from this all day so in that juncture it's a nice camera drone if you're not going for perfect video recording and you just want a really nice flyer with an okay um like it's right at that midpoint it's a it's right at the midpoint where it's an okay camera any less than this it'd be a not so okay but it is definitely an okay camera um it, if you want a drone that's gonna fly well that's gonna get good range uh it, with an okay camera this is gonna be it i'm gonna have to see the price come down the price is gonna have to come down 140 140 for a nice gps flyer for a nice brushless drone for an okay camera because that's what it is now we're pitching forward okay um we're flying forward and again i think if this was recording even at like 40 some odd frames per second 60 frames per second this would probably be smooth as butter uh but because it's only recording at 20 frames per second i think that's why we're seeing that jitter and now we are backpedaling i'm backpedaling and that's just showing you a little look at the the gimbal. The gimbal's functioning properly. But again, we have wind. If you can look down to your left, see those flags blown. The wind's blowing to the right. We have a crosswind blowing to the right. And this doesn't have a third axis. And again, we are going to test the forward pitch, kind of flying in to the wind. And it's gotten a little bit less jittery because we're kind of flying into the wind. We don't have so much of a crosswind. And then as you can see, as we start turning, we get the jitters. Um, so all in all, this is what you can expect. 
I'm not sugarcoating anything. There's uh, only one other thing that I can try to do to try to get better video is put a class 10 in here. But I tested in-house with a class 10 versus this 8 gigabyte non-class 10. And the class 10 seemed to get large frame drops. Um, so I went with the lesser grade SD card because it looked better in-house. Um, and we're really not getting much frame drop. It's not like you don't see it top of the tree, bottom of the tree, bottom of the tree, houses. It's not jumping like that. It's just it. It's a little bit jittery because, again, it's only shooting in 20 frames per second. If it was shooting in more, it would be definitely better. Um, if you let this sit still, it's sitting still. Image quality is great. Now that wasn't a frame jump. <laughs> that was just me. Uh, that was just me pressing uh, my stop record and then shooting it back up. That'll happen once more. Because I did have my hat cam on, but I decided against putting the hat cam footage in because I didn't want to showcase how well this flies. I didn't want to showcase how cool this looks in there. I didn't want to showcase up close. We will get it up close. You'll see my face up close. Uh, how well the gimbal works. I wanted to showcase the video quality. And again, you can see the car moving up. The car is not skipping up the road. And I just pitched it completely downwards. And we super fast pitched it upwards. Um, that's me pitching the camera via the controller. But that car, even the car that just parked, we didn't see it go from road to house. So it's really not huge skipping frames. And again, another car going up the street. It's not skipping up the road. We just have a little bit of jitter. And if it was 60 frames per second, I think that could be out of it. Um, right now, uh, this is a prototype. Uh, I've been told this is a prototype, despite the fact on Geek Buying they said they're selling it. The person that gave it to me says it's a prototype. I'm going to report back these findings. I'm going to say, hey, look, dude, you got a good flyer. You got good range. It looks good. It feels good. The controller's dope. Um, we need to get 60 frames per second. If we could get the 60 frames per second, then it might be a $200 drone. It might be a $200 GPS dope drone. I mean, look at the quality. In your face, look at the quality. Quality's good. And Paul looks good. I look good. There was a little bit of skipping. When we shifted to the right, that was a little bit of skipping. But, uh... That was, that's the major skipping that I've seen from this. And again, we are going to jump to a different frame here. That's simply me pressing stop on the record button and starting it in another place. So this isn't a full flight time. I think we got like close to 10 minutes recorded. And this is going to be me just going downfield, testing the gimbal. It doesn't like those greens. <laughs> it doesn't like the green. Like on the grass, the trees are looking good. On the grass, it's again trying to focus on those greens. The blue in the sky is looking good. So this is an, a complete teardown of this video that uh, this drone's in our backpedaling. Um, this drone's getting. Pictures, you can pull pictures from this all day. Um, you are not going to shoot a cinematic video uh, with this, like this, unless they improve on the frames per second. I even think, dude, 40 frames. 40 frames per second, I think, will solve the jitters. Because, again, the gimbal works right. I, I can put this in front of my face. I can pitch left. I can pitch right. I can pitch forward. I can pitch backwards. And the gimbal's doing its job. The, the gimbal looks good. I've held it and I've moved it. The gimbal looks good. It's just a frames per second. Again, car going down the street. It's not hopping down the street like you'd see with a junky, um, super frame skippy. Again, 60 frames per second when you fix it. Guys, I'm Jay Drone. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Questions, comments, concerns down below. I will report to my guy. The next video on this will be a flight time video. And that will conclude my testing of this. I do have two modifications that I'd like to do, um, which might make this a super duper uh, drone and get epic, dope, epic footage. But you got to stay tuned for that. Subscribe. Hit the bell. I'll check you all later. Bye.